Matt from Investiquant. Today is Monday, June 15th, 2020. And this morning we saw the markets gap down below the prior day low here. I'm looking at the ES specifically here in the top left chart. And after a quick test lower, we have started to trend higher all day and currently trading right around uh, the closing price from Friday. So uh, we opened down here at the lows. We're currently trading up near the highs. And just as of a couple seconds ago, we were above the closing price from Friday. Uh, we're trading above the close here in the NASDAQ and the Russell. The YM is a little bit below right now. But uh, bottom line, we have seen a strong price action throughout the day and holding uh, closer to the highs as of now. So what I want to do is just test that price action going into the close of the session. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to select all four instruments. We're going to use the intraday time-based setup, and I will use a time-based entry of 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Set it up as a long that will exit at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. And next, I'm going to go into opening filters. We are going to select that it opened below the prior day low. I think that was true for three of the four instruments. I don't know that NASDAQ did today. And then I'm going to build out that price action that we just looked at. So uh, the price action was uh, based upon opening in the bottom 25% of the range. So that is available in this section here, open and bottom 25% of the range and then trading in the top 25% of the range uh, going into the at, into 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And then lastly, it is trading above the prior close. So that is down here. I can get that added, and I can click View Results, and we will see the results. And here we go. So it looks like we have 64 samples in the ES, 68 in the NASDAQ, 70 in the YM, 60 in the Russell, and on average, all of them having at least 55%, but uh, most of them a little bit, or two of those a little bit better than that. So close to probably 59-ish uh, or so percent as a whole. And it looks like here recently, the equity curves are starting to get a little bit stronger in recent times. And I'm, I guess that NASDAQ's really standing out here as a, a stronger looking one. Uh, there's the ES equity curving. See, it's been uh, pointing north since, uh, what is this, 2014 or so. Here's YM. YM's been pretty consistent since about 2014, and Russell has been probably the least consistent. It's just kind of flat looking, but it uh, looks like we look at the, the last five years down here in the ES, 64%. Uh, wow, NASDAQ, 81. Didn't realize it was quite that strong. You can kind of see it on the equity curve there as it's getting really strong. Uh, Dow, 72% over the past five years, and Russell just 50-50 over the past five years. So it looks like they've been a little bit stronger in recent times. Historically, though, looking back to 2003, we're a little bit of favorability to the bulls uh, historically on this pattern where you are opening below the prior day low. Your open is in the bottom 25% of the intraday range. Your close as of 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time is in the top 25% of the intraday range, and you are trading above the prior day close. So uh, that's a, a pattern of strength that is taking place, and if it enters at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. These are the results when exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. So I hope you found that interesting. Good luck, and we will see you next time.